We wanted to create a situation where students could have a more enjoyable experience reading and build relationships. We have fun together and we read and we actually learn new things. It's been incredible, this project. Teaching the little kids how to read or hanging out with the little kids. One kid reminds me of my brother. He's in Mexico, my brother. When I think about our high school students who are learning English, reading at the high school level can feel so uncomfortable for them because nobody wants to be in high school feeling like they're not a good reader. They don't want to read. They're resistant to reading, especially in front of their peers. When we read, we like take turns and we both learn from each other like the words that we don't know how to pronounce. Like there's words that I don't know and she knows, so she teaches to me. They get to have the empowering experience of feeling like a leader in reading and showing someone younger than them who maybe speaks their same language that, hey, it's okay that you don't know all these words and it's okay that you're still learning how to do this. We're gonna do this together. To um, see some of my students, especially some of my students who usually are a little on the shyer side or are not the loudest, to see that exuberance and excitement and wanting to tell me all about their conversation it just really warms my heart to, to see that connection. Getting together and just starting to get to know more people um, each year. Our hope with this program is that we are growing leaders with high school students and also growing leaders with elementary school students. And some of my older students here at Granby have asked if they could work with some younger students. They have already really stepped into those leadership roles based on the really positive experiences they've had with their high school buddies. When they have the experience of meeting someone else who is older or younger or close in age to them who sounds the same, looks the same, has a similar home life, that is a really powerful thing in building a sense of community. It empowers all of them, I think, to be more confident in their speaking and their reading and their writing, which then translates to their performance and their academics in their mainstream classrooms.